Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of All Angles. I'm Dion Jackson Miller, and a very special welcome to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Well, everybody wants to protect the environment and to protect our coral reefs, but there's not always agreement in terms of exactly how we go about that. One issue that we're going to be talking about is parrotfish. There's a proposal that catching and sale of parrotfish should be banned. Not everybody agrees. So as I said, that's our topic for today. And joining us in studio. We have Director of Fisheries at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Agriculture and Fisheries, Andre Kong. We also have with us Program Director at TNC, the Nature Conservancy, Donna Blake. Senior Lecturer in Marine Zoology at the University of the West Indies, Dr. Carl Aiken, is also with us, as is Chief Executive Officer at the Jamaica Environment Trust, Susan Stanley. Before we hear from our guests, though, earlier today we visited the Hunts Bay Fishing Beach to find out what the fishermen there thought about the proposed ban. The part, it, it, it is a unique type of fish. It carries a different tasting. It is fleshy. It is just, <laughs> it is just warm on the appetite. It just, it just gives you a nice appetite. I eat them. Part fish, are, it, it, it have that different, unique taste different from all the other fishes. A major controversy in environmental and fisheries circles right now is whether there should be a ban on taking parrotfish. Advocates for a ban say the parrotfish is being severely overfished in Jamaican waters. The fish is important because it generates sand by eating coral. It also helps to maintain the health of the reefs by eating the algae that grow on them. Banning parrotfish, you, you come like you ban part fishing completely. Why is that? Because parrots, if you set a pot outside of sea, you'll be catching parrots. So you're saying once you use pot, pot, you're going to catch parrotfish? You're going to catch parrotfish. So you can't catch them and let them go? No, if, once you, t you take them from the bottom of the sea, um, I think they, they, won't be, they, won't, they won't go back down. Once you pull up the pot, you're you pull saying up the pot. you can't It's, it's a dead back. fish, that. Parrot is a source of income for a lot of people out here. A whole lot of people. You have like the vendors? the fishermen who catch, and then you go beyond that. Restaurant, bar, all different people use bar. But what I noticed, they just want to ban parrot because of some people's interest. That concern about the real reasons behind the proposed ban surfaced again and again. There are people who try to do these things because it has for them own agenda. There's their agenda to bring up all these things because they, they want to sell feed them product. Feed them product. So they will say anything to try to ban parrot. The banning of parrot fish will not see an improvement of the reef over time. What we really need is to get, get larger vessels to go further to catch the parrot. Because parrot fish out of sea, you know, where in the millions, right? And as again I said, it's not overfish. The more the development took place and will be still be taking place, is the further the marine life goes at sea. Pollution. Check for instance. We have the river and the people them who build them factory, them run the dirty water in it. It mash up the harbor. Those things mash up the place. And them don't see that. But they matter about ban parrot. What they have in a Jamaica, you see, is some ships. Sometimes you have all two dozen of them out there. I lick down the coral reef them. Drop the big anchor and mash up the reef. And every time them come in, them blame the fishermen. Them blame them for the reef. Them blame them for everything. But you don't think it's a legitimate argument that fishermen are taking too much parrot fish, taking too many of the fish, and because of that, the reef is suffering. Three not enough the, sand, three not enough parrotfish parrot. to eat the algae off the reef. Three quarters of the parrotfish come in here. Don't come from inside there. You know. When you have rough weather, we used to go by like California Bank, we call it, Tappage, Round Hill, and all those places. You can't go there again. When you go there, you have to compete with the big ships. Them. them know it. Them park up out there, and them know it. All kind of big ships come and park. And Mrs. Jackson, 
Where's one of them ships? The Lego de Anka. If you ever been here. And hear where it do another day. Check a diver and make him tell you where it do another day. It's a destruction to a shoreline. Don't you? There were also significant concerns about the effects that a ban on parrot fish would have on the fishing community. Suppose they put a ban on parrot fish, how would it affect fishermen and their livelihood? If they put a ban on parrot fish, um, a lot of fishers would have to find other type of fishing, right? Many boats would have to be drawn up. The government would have to see a way to, to provide another form of sustainable livelihood for fishers. It would affect the fishermen a hundred percent. We buy boat and for our livelihood, the fishing for our livelihood. And if you do these things, enough of us going out, or, 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 we're going to have to sell back the boat to who? Nobody not going to have a boat. So there aren't other types of fish you can there catch other and types sell of that fish, you could make are, money from? Um, we don't have, we don't have the, 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 the boat to go at, at where the, the, those fish live. These little small boats, you know, it's from here to Peter. You see all these boats, Mr. Jackson? One of this. One of this implies three men, immediately. That's a crew. If I own it, that's four. And if you give each one away, a family of four, multiply by four and see if you can do the math settlement. And you see how much people imply. Plus the man will scale the fish and all those people. I also asked the fishermen what they thought we should do. What about um, fish sanctuaries? Do they work? Yeah, fish, fish sanctuaries do work and I support fish sanctuary because one thing with the sanctuary, when the fish is in the sanctuary and you cannot go inside here, soon as they, they get populated, they swim out. They are, from time to time, they will swim out and we will have more fish to catch and larger fish to catch. Do fishermen respect the sanctuaries though? Do they really stay out of them? Yes, most fishermen respect the sanctuary. Them complain about the size of wire, cause them to strip down the, 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 the reef with the parrot. So the mesh wire too the mesh small? Wire. Well, if you carry a half inch wire, come in and sell me. I go and set it out there. If you carry a one inch net, I go and carry, use it out there. Why you sell me and complain after? Okay. All right, so what do you think we should do? Regulate the whole thing, man. If you like want to regulate, regulate the wire, regulate the pot, the pot size, the wire size, and catch the fish. Fisherman Peter Ward had one warning for anyone considering a ban on parrot fish. Ban parrot, I don't stop, you know. But you know, no ban, you know, no parrot, as I said before, I saying it again. Think about the poor man who live half of the parrot for him and his wife, his children, and himself. Hungry is not a nice thing. Okay, well, let me start with Susan Stanley. Is the call to ban parrot fish ignoring the socioeconomic realities of the thousands of people who do depend on this industry? So I would just like to clarify in terms of uh, the ban, right? Um, I think that uh, a ban is one option, but there are several ways that we could regulate parrot fish in Jamaica, right? And uh, what um, in consultation we have done at JET over the past couple of weeks is come together um, with uh, marine scientists from various uh, um, you know, disciplines and um, other non-government organizations to arrive at a position that we can put forward. And there are several um, strategies that we've outlined in this position, um, and one of them is a moratorium on Parrot fish. So that would be a temporary closure of the fish, Does of, of the fishery. You know? yeah. if, I am, if I am a fisherman and you're going to tell me, say, you're putting a moratorium for a year or two years, mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned, that's an effective ban. Sure. And, but there are many other things that are included in our position. So things like uh, um, working out and promoting programs that uh, look at alternative livelihoods for fishers, um, gear restrictions, um, slot limits, so those are size limits for um, what would be allowed and would not be allowed to be harvested. There's a, there's a slew of strategies that we can pursue 
to manage the parrot fish fishery? Well, I'm nearly at break, but let's just talk about some of them quickly now. When you say alternative livelihoods, like mm -hmm. what? You're talking about somebody who has been an owner count fisherman for 20, 30 years. Mm -hmm. So what's a realistic suggestion there? Um, well, I would propose that uh, Mr. Kong, they have, uh, the fisheries division actually is actually currently undertaking a project that is looking at sustainable alternative li livelihoods for fishers in the context of climate change, but could also be applied to this. There, there are several things that are on the table and they're testing different strategies out. And I think Mr. Kong could speak to that. But there is also, as some of the fishers have alluded to, investment in um, strategies that allow them to fish uh, species that maybe would be in deeper waters, you know, invest, investment in the industry in that way. All right, we're going to come back with our other guests and their ideas as well. And of course, we want to hear from you. So remember, you can tweet us. Our hashtag is TVJ All Angles. Text me as well, 8953 That's 8953-999. Give us your first name. Give us your location. Soon come.